All right, so when it comes to language for bicultural people, this is something that I think marketers and you know, just people who are not necessarily familiar, like how do we how do we reach them? Do we translate things in their native language? Do we keep things in English? You know, what is the right way? And I think the best way is to figure out how comfortable are they speaking, you know, either language and then also think about their family members. So for those people who live in a multi-generational household, if their you know, parents or grandparents are involved in the decision making, you definitely want to have resources available in their native language. Because even someone who's completely fluent and comfortable speaking English, understanding financial documents that are related to purchasing a home can be you know, really confusing. There, there might be terms or processes that are not you know, super clear or straightforward, so you always think of yourself and when you, before you came into this profession, were any of these terms clear to you? So for someone who has family members at home, it might be better to offer those resources in a language that they definitely understand. And when it comes to you know, any type of marketing materials, this is something that I think, again, back to that hybrid approach, that it, it's nice to have things in both a native language and an English version, but then also maybe mixing it up for people who speak Spanish, you know, throw in some Spanish slang in there. And that kind of shows like, hey, like I, I'm trying to understand your culture. And um, the thing that people might feel uncomfortable with doing that is, is making a mistake. So one thing that, you know, we recommend is, you know, Google Translate can be good for kind of a quick translation, but it's always best to speak with someone personally who speaks with that language. So look at your colleagues, you know, is there anyone who is a native speaker in Spanish or Tagalog or Hindi or Korean or whatever you know language that you're that you're coming across ask them is this right is this a term that they would use or oftentimes when we translate it might come from a very kind of like proper way and rather than like a more colloquial speech so it's always best to think of you know what would someone who's just in a conversation how would they speak how would this translate and then throw that into marketing so it doesn't always come across as super kind of like textbook translation. Another thing that I would recommend is, is maybe not assuming that someone who is bicultural always needs it translated. Some people, you know, they're very comfortable with speaking English and they're totally fine with that. But then, you know, if they, once again, if they do have family members, offer it as an option. And so what that shows is that you're respecting their family, you're respecting their culture, but you're not expecting that they don't understand English. So it's always kind of like this hybrid push back and forth, and it really comes down to making the investment and getting to know, you know them, their background, and what their comfortability is with language. So those are just some quick notes about language when it comes to people who identify as bicultural.